Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add audio and video into your Google Slides. This is a continuation from my previous video, in which I showed you how to create your first Google Slides presentation. If you're not familiar with that process, go back and watch that one. It's linked up in the description down below. Let's go ahead and take a look here at how to add audio, first of all. Let's pick this middle slide here. I already have this slide created, and I want to add some background music to this slide. Now, the first thing to know is that you have to upload your audio to your Google Drive before you can insert it into any of your slides presentations. So I got some music here from Pixabay, which has a lot of free music that you can download and use in projects like this one. And you can see there, there's an option for safe search. You can turn that on. But I was looking for jazz piano music, which is largely instrumental music and not vocal music. So I wasn't too worried about my safe search being turned on. But if you're working in a school, probably want to turn that on anyway. Let's download this jazz happy music. And we can see there's the jazz happy music that I've downloaded and you can give thanks to the person and copy the information. But the Pixabay license says you don't have to do that. It's just nice to do it. So we're gonna do it this time. And I'm gonna put that in the bottom of this slide that we're working on. I'll put it right down here in my speaker notes. And later on, I'll add it into the slide itself. But for now, I'm just going to keep it in my speaker notes so I can keep track of it. Now, I've got that audio downloaded as an MP3. I'm in my Google Drive, and I'm going to upload that file, that jazz file that I just downloaded. I'm now going to upload to my Google Drive. And we'll see it's now uploading over here. Jazz happy, yay, it's uploaded. If I refresh this, we'll see it right there in my audio files. Now that I have that uploaded, let's go into the insert menu and select audio. And here in my drive, I will now have jazz happy music in my files that I can insert into the slide. And it says right here, it's creating the audio. And once that audio is created, and it's inserted automatically into my slide. But I can edit the way that it's played back. So there's a few things to note here. That little icon is currently visible because I want it to play only when I click on it. So I'm going to put it in the slide. But I'm going to put it down here in the bottom right corner. I don't want it in the top right corner. I'm going to put it down here. And so it's visible so that I can click on it when I'm presenting my slides. If I choose automatically, then I have the option to hide the icon when I'm presenting the slides. And it's important to note that that is going to automatically play back the audio as soon as I transition onto this slide. If I want to have more control over that, I'm going to set it to be on click only. And we can see there I have stop on slide change, or if I go to automatically, I can still have stop, stop on slide change. I'm gonna say on click. I'm gonna have loop audio so that the audio keeps playing as long as I am on that slide. And down here, we see some other options. And these options are simply the appearance of the icon on the screen. If I don't want it to be that size, I can change it here, or I can change it by clicking and dragging. You can see here, I can recolor it if I want to, make it yellow instead of whatever that other color was, gray-ish, I'll make it blue move the position around, but I can also resize it and reposition it by simply clicking 
and dragging on it as well. I'm going to close that out. So now I have audio in the background. Now that's background audio. If I wanted to have narration, the process is very similar. To narrate, I'm going to need to create an audio file and a simple way to create an audio file with your own voice is to use a website like Vocaroo, which I've been using now for 16 years. Simply go to this site and click record. This is a map of North America. The picture you see in the map is me standing next to Pinto McBean in Bow Island, Alberta, Canada. And once I'm done with that Vocario recording, I'll save and download it as an MP3 that I'll then have to upload to my Google Drive. We'll see it inserted there. Upload complete. Let's refresh just to verify that. Sure enough, there it is. And now on this slide, I will insert my audio, and I'm going to use that Vocaroo file, which I have right there. And again, I'm going to reposition that icon. And I'm going to click and drag the corners of it, make it bigger. There it is. And I might even, in this case, choose a different color so that I can pick it out on the screen a little bit more easily when I am presenting in front of a live audience. And you'll see there I have a 16 second audio file now attached to that particular slide. Now let's look at how do we add video into our Google Slides presentations. To do this, I'm going to add a new slide I want to add video. There's a couple of ways that we can add a video. First of all, we'll go to the insert menu and choose video where you can search YouTube for a video to insert or you can use Google Drive and any video file that you have in your Google Drive, you can insert into the slide. And this is a video that I have about using Google Earth. And I can now click and drag to reposition it and to resize it. And if I want to make it stand out a bit more on that slide, I'm going to change that background to be black. And now it's easier to identify where the video is on the slide. And let's look at our playback options for that video can see I can specify to have it start let's say 20 seconds in and I only need the first minute after the 20 second mark I only need that one minute of the video to play so I'm going to have it start at 20 seconds and end at one minute and 20 seconds and it's going to play only when I click on it you can see I can also have it play automatically I'm going to play it when I click onto that slide or play manually, which is when I've clicked onto the slide and then click the play button. You can see there I can also mute the audio. So if you just want to have the visual effects of a video, but none of the audio, you can mute the audio as well. And if I want to delete that, just click on it once and then click the delete key on your keyboard. But again, Go to insert menu, select video. You can use YouTube videos if you like. And we can do a quick search for a YouTube video. And in this case here, I might do something about like the tallest mountains in the world. And let's say I like this one here. And then insert it into the slide, click and drag to reposition it. 
And again, I can specify how much of that video I want to play back. Now I should note that if you are using YouTube videos in your Google Slides presentations, there is a chance that videos from YouTube will still display ads in your Google Slides presentation. Keep that in mind if you're using this in a classroom setting or a professional setting where you may not want to have a YouTube ad play before the YouTube video is played in your Google Slides presentation. In that case, if you want to avoid that situation, I would recommend using videos you have stored in your Google Drive. So that's how you can add audio and video into your Google Slides presentations. For more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.